Andrew Berry during his pre-draft media gathering um, was asked, with Jack Conklin, Jedrick Wills, and Dewan Jones, three starting caliber tackles, um, does he and, and do the Browns view that as a positive in roster building? I do, I do. And like we've probably seen that in particular two out of the four years that, that we've been here where you know, I don't. I think you know maybe one or two teams in the league end up having their starting five play the whole season uh, on a given year. So, and 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 that's one of the positions where once you get into the season, it's it's hard to acquire them. Like uh, the 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 big guys, they're 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 hard to acquire once you get into really once you get into camp. So, um, tackles a premium position. Um, we have good ones. Again, in no hurry to give anyone away. And Quincy, I, again, I wouldn't be surprised in the least if they take one in, in you know, the third round, if they trade for a fourth round pick. Uh, I don't think they'll use their second round pick on it. Um, but I, yeah, think about it. Think about how often you see tackles getting beat up. And I'm sure if you had a third one and, and you can lighten the load of, of all three of them, all three of them would be on board for that. You can never have too many tackles, right? Like, I, I think that's a constant on football teams because what you don't want to have is not have enough tackles, right? Once you don't have enough tackles, we've seen what that looks like. You're down to Garyon Christian, and Garyon Christian get ran on two and a half seconds, and it just is what it is. You can't really run that many plays. What Kevin Stefanski wants to do and wants to be able to maintain is that no matter who's at quarterback, no matter what goes down with the team, is that he's able to access the – larger parts of this playbook the bulk of the playbook what kills parts of the playbook is when you cannot block right when you cannot block up front when you have a leak at the tackle or guard or center positions so i think it's always smart for a team to overload a offensive line room because that guarantees that even if you do have a couple of injuries up front you still have access to all of the avenues and plays that you want to be able to attack a team and the more flexibility you have during the game the more chances you have to win and the better your chance is to win yeah i think about the job andrew berry did last year you know they were playing their fourth and fifth tackles he he just told you it's hard to find big guys and Gary and Christian was pretty good his first couple of starts, but that's the thing with guys that are third, fourth, and fifth tackles. There are parts of their game that get exposed, and that's what happened is he started into his third, fourth game. The parts of his game that weren't where it needed to be got exposed. Yeah, it's just tough when you don't have – quality tackle play out there um, or when you're stretched so thin that you have guys that, you know, are virtually coming off the street to come play for you, right? Like, it's just tough to kind of maintain and run your whole plays. I think the thing that suffered, even when Gary on Christian came in, I mean, up until Jed Wills got hurt is, look at the run production. Look how inefficient that run game got after Jed Wills and Dewan Jones got hurt and how ineffective it was. Like, it just completely stripped away that part of the Browns game. Um, and that's really something that led them into that turnover, that high volatility turnover rate with Joe Flacco because we're asking him to throw 45, 55 times a game. And that's just going to – the interception is just going to come with that.